Good morning, Good morning, everyone, and welcome to New Life. I'm Christy, and this is my awesome, handsome husband, Dev. And this is my beautiful, talented, smart, and so blessed to have in my life, wife. And we are so, so incredibly blessed to be a part of this amazing, loving, and generous family. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts for accepting us and being part of our family. Absolutely. We want to welcome everybody today that's here in person and online. It was such a glorious moment to watch all the baptisms and just declarations of faith that is so beautiful to watch. Uh, for our newer and newer guests, we have connect cards. Uh, we can get in the back or from the ushers, and we would love, to, if you're brand new to this house, we have a gift, I believe, in the back that we would love to give you. There's also a QR code on the seat back in front of you. You can pull out your phone and scan that card and get all the information for today. I, th I think Pastor Tim had four pages of notes today. <laughs> <laughs> They're good, I promise. We were asked to share, just give a little testimony of God's faithfulness in our life through tithing and through just a commitment of saying yes to honoring him. So back in February, Pastor Pam and I were leading a ladies' meetup at her house. And I sat in the basement, and I shared that things had been going really, really well for us. Financially, we were doing better than what we had. Spiritually, we were so strong. Our marriage was on fire. Our family was close. But I also knew that that doesn't last forever. Because in order to go deeper in God, you got to press in and step out of your comfortability. Otherwise, you can grow complacent. And I don't want to grow complacent. I want to seek everything that he has for me and continue to go deeper. So I sat in that group of women, some of you are in here now, and I literally said, I don't know what this next season is going to entail, but he has my yes. And he has everything that I can give him. Well, a week later, I found a lump. And a month later, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And I do want to be clear on something. God doesn't cause cancer. The enemy can bring cancer, but God can use cancer. And so I sat there with that diagnosis in the office with Pastor Tim and Tiffany, Pastor Dixie, Sarah, Pastor Pam, devastated because everything was going to look different. I wasn't scared for myself. I was scared for how I was going to tell my kids and how we would get through that season. We've already gone through something seriously heartbreaking, but now this was a personal attack. And all it did was light a fire in my soul. Come on. So I was faced with a decision. I could let fear dictate every decision that I would make. It could dictate my house and it could dictate my kids. Or I could say yes and allow God to use it and to move me and take me deeper in ways that I could never even imagine. He had my yes. God's ways are always better than mine. We are at a place in our lives where we were making so many decisions. Things were thrown at you. You don't get to choose your appointments. You don't get to choose any of that stuff. It's thrown at you and you're just kind of thrown in limbo. In those times, fear, fear likes to show up and it likes to lead. But because of my yes five years ago, I sat in Supernatural School of Ministry under Pastor Dave and Jan. And then a year later, we said yes and sat in School of Revive. And because of all of their yeses, I was able to recognize the voice of God in the midst of chaos. And it came as a peace, a supernatural peace that surpasses all understanding. That peace is not common. And it could have been so easy for me to disregard it. But because of their faithfulness and my yes partnered with theirs, I was able to hear God clearly. Second Timothy 1 7 tells us that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Isaiah 26 3 says, You will keep in perfect and constant peace the one whose mind is steadfast, that is committed and focused on you, in both inclination and character, because he trusts and takes refuge in you with hope and confident expectation. I realized early on that he was looking at my heart posture through that season more than anything else. 
Never once did it occur us that we should stop tithing. How could we stop giving him what he's asked of us when he's the reason we had it? Our bills never went unpaid during my time off of work. And there was always food on the table. A huge part of that food on our table was thanks to you guys. And we are so grateful for that. Philippians 4.19 says, I am convinced that my God will fully satisfy every need that you have. God is a God of his word. In September, I was able to return to work. And after only two weeks back, I was offered a big promotion with a substantial raise. Not only that, but God opened a door for Naraya to attend Friends University with a big scholarship for dance. And because of her major in ministry and her yes to going all in for all he has for her, she was offered a special scholarship that took her tuition down to zero. Never once did we ever tithe out of obligation, but it was only out of adoration and gratitude. He asked so little from us, but he gave us his all. I ask you to consider your yes. Through giving, throughout your seasons, hard, easy, good, and bad, and throughout your day, what's your yes? Now you know why I got an amazing wife. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. There are three ways to give here at New Life. We can go through the Church Center app, or we can go to newlife.org backslash give, or we can give in person. And if you're giving in person, if you just raise your hand if you need an envelope, and these beautiful ushers will give you a... Okay. We're going to pray over our offering. Dear Father God, I thank you for this just awesome time, this celebration time for our new for our brothers and sisters declaring who you are in their lives. I thank you, God, that you're meeting all of my brothers and sisters' needs. I thank you, Father, that you're not a distant God, but you're right here, right there in the midst. And I thank you, Father, for them that are uh, still, that they're just holding on for all their... I thank you, God, that you're there in the midst. I thank you that their ears are open, their hearts are receptive. I thank you, God, that they see you and that you see the tangible goodness in the land of the living. I thank you, Father, for your hand upon them right now. And I thank you, God, for supplying all their needs, all of them. And I thank you, God, for all these wonderful people. In Jesus' name, amen.